what we have here is this standing lamp with this lampshade that is um, no bueno. We're not going to use this lampshade. We're going to totally redo this standing lamp, give it a new lampshade. We're going to use no lampshade. We're going to decoupage it and make it totally pretty. And okay, let's get started. So this is a pretty cool standing lamp. The bottom is brass, the, the tall part is not, but we can make it really pretty. The bottom is rusted. I cleaned it and as best as I could. And what we're gonna do first is just paint it. I'm gonna use a uh, crinoline, which is an off-white, and it's Debbie's Design Diary paint. It's got not low VOCs, but no VOCs. And because this is metal, we're going to need at least two or three coats to cover it. And that should do it. So we're going to paint the base and then the pole part. I don't know what you call it. There's probably a technical name for it. We're going to paint that all the same color. Two to three coats. So while the paint is drying on the base of the lamp, because we do have to add another coat, and it's easier to do once the first and the second coat dries, you can add the other one. This lamp originally had this accordion um, lampshade, which you could paint, but I don't know about decoupaging it. So we're going to use this lampshade that is going to be a whole lot easier to decoupage. And the first thing I want to do is I want to paint it white because that will give it, um, it'll, it'll be bright enough for the paper to actually look really pretty on it. So I'm starting with the wet brush because this is fabric. So when your brush is wet and you mix it with the paint, uh, or when you dip your wet brush into the paint, it just makes the paint go onto the fabric a lot easier. And um, it just works better that way. So once the shade is dry, you want to apply some uh, brand of Mod Podge. You don't have to use Mod Podge brand, but you want to use the glue for decoupage paper. Now, I cut my paper up. I didn't measure. I'm sure if you're a perfectionist, you're going to cut and trim and all of that. I am not that. I just want to put the paper on the shade, let it look a little bit wrinkled. I don't mind that. Um, so I just cut the paper in half for the most part and kind of just eyeball it when I'm measuring it. Just cut a little bit more and then I'm going to start to put the Mod Podge glue in sections.
So while we're letting the lamp and the paper dry, we're going to now just wax the base of the lamp. It is completely dry. It has three coats of the crinoline color and we're just going to use some clear wax from the base all the way up to the top. So now that the shade is dry, we're going to seal that up. And we have um, DIY paint does have sealants, but you can also use the Mod Podge glue, which also acts as a sealant on the top. So the shade is wrinkled, and I, I like it this way. I feel like it gives it like an old, vintage romantic kind of a shade, because it has the pretty colors too. So, and then the glue will help take some of those wrinkles away also.